Hi guys, Tom Morrison here, and I'm going to take you through the ultimate daily mobility routine. The very first thing that we want to be checking is our neck and our overhead reach. So for your neck, just go left and right, up and down, side to side, and just see how that feels. Then reach your hands up above your head like this. Try to keep your ribs tucked down and just reach as high as you can. You want a nice flat line all the way through here. You don't want to be like this because that will affect your overhead pressing. After that, you're going to check your straight leg and toe touch. So with nice straight legs, see can you touch the floor like this. You don't want to be like this. You want legs nice and straight, see can you touch the floor or if you can get any further than that, touch the knuckles. After that, you want to check your squat. So sit yourself down into your squat and see can you get a nice flat back in that position, chest up. Do that from the side and from the front as well. Then what you're going to do is stand yourself up and just squeeze your butt as hard as you can. Test left side, right side and see do they feel similar or does one feel stronger than the other? Then you're going to go into this routine. The very first thing that we're looking at is the wall levator scapula stretch. With shoulder flexion, you're going to be doing that five times each side. You want to keep your lower back against the wall, so bend the knees slightly and have the heels away from the wall. Don't worry about trying to get your hand up to the wall or your arm completely flat. As long as you're feeling a stretch down the back of your neck and that you're working in the position, that is good enough. Also, do not yank on your neck just nice and gently pull at a diagonal angle and just feel that stretch. So right now I'm doing the right arm. I should feel the stretch down the right hand side of my neck. After that, you're going to be going into the deep lunge pry. You're going to be doing that five times per side as well. So if you get yourself down into almost like a lunge and then open up from the hip it's very important that it's from the hip and you're not thinking about driving your knee out to the side. So notice how my foot is coming off the ground ever so slightly. So you can roll the ankle a little bit or you can try and keep it down a bit more. Just whatever gives you a better stretch in your hip. From there, you're going to be going into the deep lunge with the elbow down to the floor. So deep lunge to floor with reach, arm behind the back and that is a thoracic rotation as well. Make sure that you're not forcing the stretch. Your full goal is to be able to get your elbow down beside your heel with your shin staying vertical at all times. The top part, whenever you're rotating around, almost try and imagine that you're wringing your entire body out like a wet towel and you're trying to get all the water out of it. So in a push-up position, bring your foot up beside your hand and then put your elbow down beside the heel. If you can only do this on one side, I wouldn't recommend heavy squatting or heavy deadlifts. You want to have it similar on both sides, but ideally the elbow should be able to get right the way down to the floor with your shin vertical. That will give you the capacity to be able to do squats and deadlifts safely. With the reach around, rotate at the top, put it right behind the back and give yourself that little extra push. After that, you're going into almost a combination between the pigeon pose and the child's pose. And then you're going to reach with your arm five times. You're looking to feel this stretch um, enhanced in your glute and in your lat whenever you do the reach. And don't be worrying about trying to get your leg at a right angle. Not a lot of people can do that and it puts extra stress on the knee. So if you notice my leg here, I'm not aiming for a right angle. I am just waiting to, or just putting it in a position that I can feel the stretch in the glute. So if you're feeling any pain in your knee when you're doing it, adjust the position. If however you are flexible enough to have your knee at a right angle, then that is absolutely fine. Just be careful with the stretch. After that, we're into the downward dog. You're going to walk your heels to the ground five times each side, so 10 in total, aiming to feel a nice stretch in the calf or the hamstrings. And focus on that for that part of it. Then from there, you're gonna bend both the knees and you're gonna to start to push your head through. And now you're aiming to feel a stretch in the shoulders. Get your head through as much as you can, almost trying to get your nose to your knees. After that, we are on to the couch stretch. 
So using your couch, you're going to sit your foot up on one side and then bring yourself down into a lunge position, squeeze your butt as hard as you can and then sit yourself up nice and tall. Reach behind your head and grab and then lean away from the straight leg. You're going to do that five times and then stay in that position and you're going to do five little hip circles in that position as well. You can try either direction, there's no right or wrong with this, and um, even do both directions if you want to. Then you're going to swap sides. So notice how we drive the hip down first, squeeze the glute before we start to sit up and then get up nice and tall, keeping the abs nice and tight and reach over and then reach away from that side. So you should feel this up at your hip more than down at your quad. If you're feeling it down your quad, then maybe your quads are tight, but if you want to get a proper hip flexor stretch, that is where you want to be feeling it. Adding in those circles as well. Then you're straight into your fold over hamstring stretch. So bend the knees, get your hands as low as you can, and then try and straighten your legs. You don't need to worry about getting your legs fully straight. After that, you're then going to go into your 15 second hold in the thoracic bridge. A lot of people find this quite challenging, so if you can't do it, then I'd recommend searching for my bicep opener video on uh, YouTube. If you can do it though, it is a great stretch to do and it's a really nice place to throw in some neck rotations while you're there. Always be thinking about pushing down as hard as you can and reaching the arm that's in the air as far away from the opposite side hip as you can. So sit yourself up nice and tall first, then reach as far as you can with that arm. And again, you're keeping the glutes squeezed whenever you're doing this. The closer you can start to get your hand towards your heels over time as well, will increase the arch that you get in your back and really help with your overall extension. Whenever you've finished everything, you're going to stand up and you're going to do five hip circles in each direction just to finish everything off before you retest and see how you feel. All the time you're doing this, stay nice and relaxed and give yourself nice deep breaths. After you've done the entire routine, you're gonna go through the test again, so see how your neck feels, see how your overhead reach feels, see how your straight-legged toe touch feels, see how your squat feels, and see how your glutes feel. They will feel a 100 times better, and what you're going to do is this every morning for two weeks, as soon as you wake up, First thing today is going to be the first thing that you do and you're going to rewrite how your body feels and have some awesome habits. If you find this video helpful, please let me know. And if you want to know more, the Simplistic Mobility Method is available from my website.